Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will test the brand new Renovate Ice ROM. I'm talking about the 2.0 version and by the end of this video you'll see how much of an improvement they managed to make compared to the 1.0 version. If you want to see the video I made on the 1.0 release, check the video in the card section. There you'll also find a tutorial on how to flash a ROM on Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus which also applies for this one. Also, make sure you upgrade to the latest bootloader before flashing this ROM. The tutorial for that is also listed in the Ducart section. The question I was asking myself all week since I got this new update was, will this be the best ROM at this time for the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus? I managed to find an answer which I'll tell you at the end of this video. This is Wicked and here I'll be doing this review in a wicked manner. You don't know what a wicked manner is? Well. Let's find out. So, what can this ROM do for you? Being based on latest touch with firmware, this ROM goes for stability. The only thing which has been, let's say, internally modified is the kernel. Renovate ROM 2.0 is no longer going with stock kernel, but rather Jesse's kernel, which is a custom kernel made for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Of course, the ROM is running on Android 7.0 Nougat on latest Samsung software, QE5. In a ROM installer, you can choose which app to remove from the start. More about the performance of this ROM I'll discuss in the next part. Can this ROM be fast as lightning? I've been talking about the new kernel, which is rocking under the hood of this beautiful ROM, Jesse's kernel. Running at the 2 benchmark gave me an amazing score, which surprised me a lot. Compared to the latest version of Renovate Ice, this new release is about 5.5% faster, which makes it the fastest ROM I've ever tested on the wall of speed. The overall speed and smoothness of this ROM is close to the stock firmware, but I would say it feels and behaves a little bit faster. I don't really care about gaming performance, but most of you will, so I'll run Minion Rush and Temper Run 2 with best graphics option activated. As you can see, both of them performed as expected. No lag, no stuttering whatsoever. Ok, what about the aesthetics? Well, here comes a part which I'm really in love with. This ROM comes with an application called RICE, which stands obviously for Renovite Ice, from which you can customize most of the software and visual tweaks. The most interesting one is the ability to customize the notification header, bar icons, colors, etc. Along with the full black theme I made a tutorial on, you can visit it in the description. This ROM is everything I would possibly need in terms of aesthetics, period. It looks great, has the minimal personalization settings and can rock a full black theme without a problem. I would like a full theme integration in the future, like Substratum Team Engine on Lineage OS, but for now, I must admit I'm really impressed. Great work, Renovate team. So, to sum up, do I recommend this ROM? I have to be honest with y'all, this is currently the best ROM for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. It is fast, stable, I couldn't experience any bugs, it is all I need in terms of personalization menus. The only thing I would want in the future is a slimmer version of it with the same features, with less Samsung bloatware running in the background and of course more free random access memory. But this is a minor thing, apart from that, I can easily consider this ROM as being perfect and give it an outstanding wicked score of 4.8 out of 5. So close to perfection, but there's still a little room for improvement. Anyways, this was wicked, if you like my video, Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.